All right, welcome to the Painter's Playground. This is Debbie. I'm going to do a or just a regular piece today, uh, just for fun. Um, if we can get into Painter's Port. Uh oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a flamingo, and I'm not very creative, like I keep saying. So I just went online and googled some abstract art, and somehow I ended up with a flamingo. I don't know, I always, this is the third bird I've painted in two days. Yesterday's uh, daily challenge was a chicken, chickens. I also um, have, I, today I recorded the Thanksgiving version, so that was a turkey and now we're on a flamingo, so something about poultry is sitting with me. I also have a turkey cooking in the oven right now, so it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Um, yeah, so Let's just rotate this, and oh, it's a large painting. Uh, I don't want that one. Let's, no, no, no. Huh. Oh, I'm stuck with it. Stuck with it, oh well. Painting size, I chose, I guess I'll just keep it. That's fine. That's, you know, art, you have to just go with the flow. You make a mistake, you just, just have to do it. Anyway, let's do a background fill. Ooh, we want kind of a teal color. What other colors do we have here? Uh, let's do a teal. That's too... Hmm, I want more like a blue-green, but this is... We're just gonna do green. Maybe we'll do blue. Mm. Let's do this blue color. Seems my computer's being a little laggy right now. It's, I think I'm uploading some videos, so we'll just we'll have to be a little patient. Um, now I want a gold. I know gold and metallics are in the palette. I think they're on this page, but we don't have it yet, so we're just going to have to go with the flow. Uh, so let's go with the orange. And we're going to use the paintbrush here, the spray brush. I'm um, going to do that corner right here, uh, right here. We're going to make this a favorite color because we're going to come back to it later. Um, okay, and I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm trying to do the background first so that I don't have to too much to come back to. It's easier to do the background first and layer on top of it rather than um, having to come back to the background and then paint around your painting. That doesn't work out so well. Uh, make it a little smaller yet. We're just kind of decorating the background a little. Okay, and we want a little bit of black in there. So we're going to do some of that. Some of here. I know, the painting that I'm going after is a little bit of a rustic background touch, but, you know, I don't know. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to do our flamingo. We're going to start with pink. Pink. Dark, bright pink. Oh, there's none. Okay, well then we're going to just do red. It's going to be a red flamingo. That's that's it. Sorry, red flamingo. That's how it goes. So, yep, we're just going to start with the head. Ugh. Nope, I want this. I'm seeing uh, already not good. Already not good. Let's retry. Retry again. Third time is a charm. Let's try it. We're just going to go with it, however it turns out. We're just going to go with it this time. Want to splat? Splat. Good. Okay. We're doing the basic outline of the flamingo's head right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. 
Okay, and then, so that's the top of the head. It's going to basically come straight down like that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then curve it. Subtle curve. Subtle curve. There we go. And we're going to fill this in. This is just the basic outline. Um, okay, so here's the neck. And then we're going to do, start the, uh, there we go. Yeah, that's the wing. As you can see, this is looking like a flamingo already. Not really. Well, maybe. Um, okay, we're going to beak it up. Beak, beak, beak it up. Like my wrap. It's not a very good wrap either. Um, artistry is not my talent, but okay. Change the beak color. Okay, so the beak's gonna be subtly. It's gonna go down like. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Debbie! Down like that. Curve around. Curve down like that. Okay. We're going to make it real pointed. Yeah. There we go. And then back up at about the same angle as this one up here. There we go. So there's the beak. Change back to this color. Okay. It's the bottom of the head. We're going to curve around. And we're basically going to follow the neck down most of... Ugh. Not like that most of the way. See, we can fix some of this problems that we're having. Ugh. Neck gets real skinny there. Okay. K, K, K. There we go. Okay, you see the basic outline. So here is the head and beak, neck, body, wing. So it is kind of starting to look like a flamingo. Okay, so now we're going to fill this in. A little bit, so we're going to be real careful here. Oh boy. Careful is not my forte with this, but we're going to try it. See, this is why I start with a thin brush, because otherwise, you know, I would just have a huge mess. Huge mess. Oof. There. Nope, let's fix that. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to this color. Okay, we're being real careful again because we want to make this go down. Go down and around. Okay, so we're starting to fill in in the flamingo a little bit better. You know, the flamingo is actually, of all the birds that I've drawn and are painted in the last couple of days, the flamingo is my favorite bird. Um, I just think they're really cool. I was at the zoo once and I was looking at flamingos and I asked, I won't tell you what zoo because this is kind of embarrassing for the zoo. But I asked the zookeeper, well, in the meantime, we're just going to fill in the flamingo colors here. I asked the zookeeper, or whoever the zoo person was that was standing next to the flamingos, how you tell the difference between the male and the female flamingos, because I don't know anything about it. And they told me that the tag on the foot, if it was on the left foot, it was a male, and the right foot was a female. Um, obviously they didn't quite understand what I was asking because that's how they told the difference or that person. Not how you actually tell. Um, so I guess I should look it up. Maybe put a comment in the video here if I figure it out. Okay, so flamingo's actually starting to look pretty decent. Um, let's fill in the beak. So I'm going to do beak color.
color, color, color. Color, color. This is probably going to be a long video because I'm taking my time with my flamingo. But, okay. Okay, now we're going to be real careful with the black here because we want a black tipped beak. Yeah, that's real careful. See? Not really, but, you know, I don't have a steady hand. Pointed beak. Okay. This a little smaller. Fill it in. Fill it in. Fill it in. You know, it'd probably be easier just to come back around with the background color and fix the little boo-boos. Okay, so there's the beak. We're just gonna do a little, little refinements here. Okay. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna put black. It's going to come up a little on the edges here. And then up a little bit into this part of the beak. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm quite happy with how that beak turned out. Except for that little part right here. I don't think I have the wrong color again. I should favorite that one. So I know. Great. Fix. There. Fixed. Okay. Now, what are we going to do next? We are going to do a little bit of highlighting on the beak here with some white. So right there. There, right there. Come down into the beak. And uh, down in here, down in here. Ah, that's turning out great. Okay, we want to give the flamingo a little eye. It's going to be a black eye. Down, 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 down. There we go. One more. There we go. There's our nice black eye. Not like he got into a fight. Hardy, har, har. That's a real funny joke, I know. Okay, um, we're going to do some more light pink, some shading here, or highlighting, I would say. We're going to uh, be real there. Um, is this the color of our... Yeah, it's the color of flamingo. I didn't give myself too much room for highlighting. Okay. Uh, along the neck. Yep, yep. There we go. Okay. Put a little spot here. Now it looks like most of this is highlighting, so we're just gonna go with it. Lots of ums as I keep staring at my drawing here, trying to figure it out. Uh, let's see, we want to do some white highlighting on top of that. Here and here. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. Um, we're going to draw a little bit in here, like so, like so, yeah, like that. Um, we're going to make it come down like that, like that. Um, like that. I should have done this before my shading. Um, Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're gonna do small this way instead of nope. 
Let's make that a little bigger. Like that, okay. Oh boy. Okay. And we're just going to outline our flamingo. And up and around, up and around. There's that. And we're gonna come down. Oh gosh, right over my shading. Oh, that was bad. But you know, that's life. Down and around. Okay. There's the flamingo head. Um, we want. Let's do this a little better. This. 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 Make it a little like that. Okay, and there is our ugly flamingo. Um, I could make it better, but my highlights have obviously not helped. I will say that I think I did pretty good on the beak. That's the best part. Everything else is pretty sucky. If we just crop the head out, it's a nice flamingo head, but otherwise pretty bleh. Anyway, there's painting for today. I didn't show you any new techniques or anything, but I'm okay with it. Let's title it Ugly. Flaming, flamingo, yeah. See, I'm a real great speller, flamingo. Um, we'll put it in our private gallery because that's actually one of my better paintings that I've done. So, thanks for watching.